and good day. This is episode one of Licorice Pizza today. It's a brand new show, episode one. Here I am, Don Despa. And what we're going to talk about is music. Some of your favorite bands in the future, you know, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, The Eagles, Chicago, whomever it is, you know, Leonard Scott. I'm not, I'm not trying to leave anything out. First of all, I'm going to go in the top three selling groups of all time. First one would be the Beatles. The second one, the Eagles. These are rock bands, okay? Not individual artists, so uh, not to confuse anybody. And number three is a band, which we're going to talk about uh, today, is Led Zeppelin, all right? Uh, yeah, they've, they've been around since uh, 19... Well, they formed in 1968. And then came out with their first album in the spring or summer... Well, we got usually everything here in the North Country a little bit later. But it was the summer of 69 that I first heard Led Zeppelin, their first album. My brother, a friend of his, came up. We're camping. I was camping in Hanawa Falls. It's the summer. Had a little record player. And, uh, man, I'll never forget it. Looking at the album cover, I said, ooh, it's this new band, Led Zeppelin. And, uh, you know, the Beatles were starting to kind of break up at that time a little bit and it's they're they're a little harder edge than the Beatles Zeppelin not everything they did but a lot of stuff they did was and the album cover and uh and I looked at it and said well let's open it up brand new never even been open open it up and play it and my goodness wow the title track good times bad times right if those of you that remember that album Remember it very well. And even if you're younger, you know, were born in the 70s or 80s, you, 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 I'm sure you probably have that album. If you're into music, a music lover, like I am, and the, at, at first listen to this album, I, I loved it. I couldn't get enough of it. Played it probably three times in a row. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Good Times, Bad Times, Dazed and Confused which I tend to get once in a while. It's, <laughs> what a great song, though, and they recorded it in 36 hours. And I didn't find that out until decades later. What? 36, 36 hours. That whole album was recorded and the rest is history. Became one of the greatest legendary bands of all time. Uh, Zeppelin One, there it is. And if you've never heard uh, Zeppelin One, Go ahead and listen to it. You'll love it. And uh, especially hearing it for the first time. And every time I still hear that album, it doesn't sound dated. Never sounds dated. Uh, Dazed and Confused. Um, oh, uh, good Times, Bad Times, Communication Breakdown with the great Jimmy Page. The thing about Led Zeppelin is, and this album I noticed right off the bat, how great the drumming is. John, The late, great John Bonham on drums, Jimmy Page on guitar, John Paul Jones on bass, and Robert Plant's voice. I mean, wow. They were a force to be reckoned with. I said, there is something new coming up, folks, and people that didn't listen to it, I went out and bought the album. I said, you got to listen to this. Unbelievable. And not only Zeppelin won, what they, uh, what they went on to do, uh, mainly, what's your favorite Led Zeppelin? The thing about Zeppelin if they release 10, 12 albums, say, okay, which one, if you only had one to pick from, and I, for the life of me, I don't know. Because they're, they're all so great. Zeppelin II came out late summer, early fall. Zeppelin II came out, and the Beatles were at number one uh, with Abbey Road. And Zeppelin knocked that out of the number one position. And uh, then... Whole lot of love off Zeppelin too. You know, Heartbreaker, Living Loving Maid, Ramble On, great song uh, by by Led Zeppelin. That phenomenal album. And then the third one, a little bit of a change. Um, more acoustic, more acoustic, but they it did have some heavy, heavy uh, uh, music on it. Heavy guitar playing on that as well. John Bottoms drums, just amazing drummer, and. What comes after that? But Zeppelin 4. 
Stairway to Heaven. I know people said, oh, Stairway to Heaven has been played so much. Yes, it has. Still a great song, though. And according to Rolling Stone magazine and other uh, polls that they take, probably the number one rock song of all time is Stairway to Heaven. Black Dog was off that one. Rock and Roll. Battle of Evermore. The song California. Misty Mountain Hop was off that one, too. And uh, that it's just amazing album. Then, <laughs> then after that, well, Zeppelin, maybe they reached their peak. No, Houses of the Holy came out. And uh, that, that uh, the song remains the same off that. Same off that. Dire Maker. Dire Maker was uh, released as a top 40 hit. But Led Zeppelin, I, might, I have to say, they were not a top 40 band. Like a pop band. They are not a pop band. Like The Who wasn't a, per se, a pop band. Neither was Pink Floyd. The Beatles were a band like that. They were both pop and classic rock can be put into that genre. But as far as Zeppelin goes, Houses of the Holy came out another just fantastic uh, album. And then after that, in 1975, they come out with, most people think this was their, it was a double album, by the way, double album, Physical Graffiti, two albums. And they started with their own record label, of course, Swan Song, Song Records, that Bad Company records on. But that was a double album, and my goodness. Most people say, what's your favorite Zeppelin album? The ones I've talked to, Physical Graffiti. But they all love Zeppelin 1, 2. And if you're a Zeppelin fan, they're all great, you know. Now to my least favorite. Comes up after Physical Graffiti was 1976. And Presence, probably my least favorite Zeppelin album, or maybe Coda from 82, after John Bonham had passed away. Uh, Coda, but uh, Physical Graffiti, let's talk about that one. My least, probably my, you know, it is my least favorite. Um, yeah, I would say, either that or Coda, those two right there. Then uh, John Bonham, uh, you know, sadly uh, passed away. Zeppelin didn't release anything in 77, as far as I know, or 78. Then 1979, they released In Through the Outdoor. Now, the first time I heard the album, there's different versions of that. It was like in a, like a paper grocery bag covered with it. And now, if you bought that album, you might see this at the bar. The other person bought the other album, see something different at the bar. But... When I first listened to it, at first listen, I didn't like it. I said, I don't know about this. I'll try it again. It grew It grew on me. Now I love the album. Fool in the Rain, All My Love, a song called Hot Dog, <laughs> that album. Hot Dog, yeah. Like a country song, yeah. They, they, I, I love it. And then, uh, sadly, after that, it was... Uh, Spring or summer of 1980, John Bonham of Zeppelin died. Led Zeppelin passed away, unfortunately. Then in 82, I think it was, a couple years after that, they released a coda of unreleased tracks. Um, Led Zeppelin did. So, uh, and actually, Physical Graffiti is some of the stuff that didn't make it to the previous albums that were on that uh, double album. But uh, Led Zeppelin, yeah, legendary band. And uh, I thought it would be a good one. Like, what's your favorite Led Zeppelin album? And if you say Physical Graffiti, fine. Led Zeppelin 2, well, that was a great album too. Whole lot of love, Heartbreaker, like I said. A lot of people like the second one. And um, Led Zeppelin 3, of course, very, more, more acoustic. But uh, that's a band that, after John Bottom passed away, never got back together. I can't say they never got back together. They, they kind of did the O2 Arena in London. They did with John Bottom's son, Jason, who was a fantastic drummer, and they did that amazing show there. So, uh, you know, Page and Plant, you know, Jimmy Page, uh, Robert Plant, and John Paul Jones get together for certain things. You know, but it, it was it was decades after John Bottom. They would not 
uh, perform, uh, you know. So it was kind of a tribute to John Bonham, what he meant to that band. He was a heavy hitting, uh, a heavy, a heavy hitting drummer. And he, uh, you know, but the first one, like I said before, groundbreaking, Led Zeppelin won. And if you've never heard it, do listen to it. In fact, if you like it, you'll probably listen to Zeppelin 2, 3, 4, and on we go. Um, and the artwork of the albums, too, that they had were, were cool. That picture of that Zeppelin on the front cover says it all, you know. Unfortunately, it's, it's kind of, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, you know, it's kind of disintegrating like the Zeppelin that happened uh, in 1939 with that terrible crash in New Jersey. But, uh, yeah, that is such a cool album cover. And what else here? Robert Plant's voice, of course, jumps out here. That first album, I said, who in the world is singing that? He's going, like, way up. And uh, to describe the difference between Zeppelin 1 and 2, is very, it's difficult. Um, more polished, maybe, the second one. Um, cohesiveness, maybe. Songs were shorter. Zeppelin 1 was just, like, I think they must have done a lot of that just doing it live in the studio, okay? And uh, just a fantastic, fantastic album. And um, Dazed and Confused, that's the highlight of uh, Zeppelin 1, it, the, the changes in it. And it's just something something you crank it up if you listen to it because you will love it. And a lot of people listening, leave your comments. This is, uh, this is the first show. And I forgot to turn my timer on, so I don't know. We're going to go about 15 minutes on this, about 15 minutes. And then after that, and again, we'll have much more for you, uh, different bands in the future. And what your, a lot of it's going to be what's your favorite album by this band or favorite song or the artwork. You might say, you know, artwork was a big thing back in the, uh, when vinyl was around and CDs for that matter. And now, you know, I like to hold the, uh, like to hold the album and then open up the sleeve. Okay, it was recorded. Who are the musicians? Any studio musicians? Where was it recorded? You know, and it, it's, it was very personal. Now you don't get that with the online music stuff. You just don't uh, have that, that personal touch to it. Uh, but anyway, I, it's our, a wrap of the first show. And again, I want to thank Elijah setting this up. Slinky over here. I have <laughs> the Slink. I uh, gotta love Slinky. And uh, there will be there will be future shows in the future. Um, and uh, we'll we'll take comments, of course. And you can comment after this video is down on your favorite Led Zeppelin uh, Led Zeppelin album. And if there's something I don't know about Led Zeppelin, there's a lot I don't. Uh, feel free to comment and, you know, say, hey, did you know that? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome all comments on the show. So uh, as the first time uh, doing this, uh, it has been it has been great. And again, uh, it is called Licorice Pizza. OK, the show that's an old term that was used for vinyl many years ago. So uh, hope you enjoyed the show. I'm just looking at a clock here because Okay, we're about we're nearing about 14 minutes on this uh, particular episode. But Zeppelin one, I'll tell you, you know, good times, bad times. That's what it starts with. Amazing drumming by John Bottom, and that was a total band effort. The drumming is just absolutely amazing on it. Jimmy Page, what can you say? He was a studio musician before going to Zeppelin. Uh, he's on many records uh, that you'll hear pop songs. Jimmy Page is playing the guitar on that. Said, I'd like to start a new band, and they recruited what, and John Paul Jones, the bass player and keyboard player. He was also a, a studio guy uh, back in the day. So that's it, and I uh, hope you listen to uh, or listen and watch the future shows. Uh, we'll be on. If Elijah could just say where where you can check this out on. Elijah Winfrey Studios on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. Donnie Dustblock going worldwide. 
<laughs> yes, I am. I was going to say good evening or good morning, depending <laughs> where you are in the world. All right, Elijah, thank you very much, and thank you. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>